Well, y'all, it happened. The trailer was supposed to come out tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., like I said in my video, but apparently somebody leaked it, so Rockstar said, screw it, and released the trailer. And, I mean, if you don't already know, what the fuck are you doing? Go watch it right now. But I wanted to just kind of get out my thoughts. I did record my live reaction to it. Um, I don't think it'll be available for the public, though. I'm also not going to be showing any of the footage because I'm not going to risk it with Rockstar. But I wanted to just kind of rant a little bit about my thoughts, given that this is a historic moment in really the history of video games as an industry. As was Grand Theft Auto V and four before them. And three, really. Um, so, fuck. What did we learn? We learned... So, for one thing, we learned for sure that our protagonists are Jason and Lucia, and it appears they are a couple. Um, so, the brother-sister rumor, I think, is definitively... Well, no, it's definitively dead. Um, and so... Oh, boy. There's just so much. It, it looks like... So, if this is our early trailer. If you remember the first GTA V trailer, it definitely improved graphically from the time of that first trailer to the release um and it was you know polished more so it already kind of looks uh, a bit like a combination between mafia 3 and kind of gta 5 but with a bunch of shaders and also cyberpunk 2077 i get a little bit of those vibes um actually more cyberpunk than gta 5 actually it feels like the new engine which is clearly built off of the red dead 2 iteration rather than the gta 5 version uh definitely looks a lot better than anything we've seen in the series before obviously <sighs> but it just i think this also confirms that this is the end of the hd era just based on the way it looks this doesn't feel like the start i mean that's what i was assuming since we hadn't seen vice city this will be the end and, and it also feels appropriate this is the end of the hd era and whatever comes next will be the, I don't know what the fuck we'll call it, the 4K era. The, I've been hearing the UHD era, which I like. That's, that's a cute name. So maybe we'll go with that. But whatever comes next is anyone's guess. But 2025. So we don't know anything about, um, like, what consoles it'll be on. Uh, or if there'll be a version on PC later or at the same time. I think we, we all know it's not coming out on the old generation. There's no way it's coming out on the old generation. But on PC, that's still up in the air. So I guess it's still up in the air whether or not I'm going to have to buy a whole new PC or upgrade my current one. I'm definitely going to have to upgrade my current one. But, oh boy. Grand Theft Auto 6 is now officially... And yeah, so we know... A bunch of people were saying maybe it would be called Grand Theft Auto Vice, or it wouldn't be Grand Theft Auto 6 at all. I saw a number of people who were actually like, oh, it's not even going to be GTA 6, it's going to be something else. And I'm like, there's uh, there's no way. But yeah, Grand Theft Auto 6. I don't know how they could call it anything else, honestly. Based on the history of the franchise, it would seem wrong to do anything else. Um, they've always used the numbered entries as sort of milestones. So... Yeah, 6 is now the new milestone. And this is probably... Oh, so the music, Tom Petty. I'm so happy to hear that there's still a healthy love for old and hopefully new music too. Um, because it, I want to hear lots of new stuff. One of the things that I think I maybe underestimate about how important Grand Theft Auto has been is its influence on my musical taste and how much new music it's introduced me to. So I'm hoping Grand Theft Auto 6, like all the other entries in the franchise, will introduce a whole new generation to tons of new music. Also, uh, I guess for the people that are worried about it being woke, well, I mean, I'll put my cards on the table and say I do not share your worries. Um, even if I... It's not that I don't say it's not going to be like that, but like, I don't... <laughs> um, and I don't know, I saw lots of good things in this trailer. I'm very excited for what this could do for the video game industry. What, the, what this does... Like, this is going to set so many precedents. It's going to determine whether Rockstar Games is able to do this without the big boys. Because now we no longer have Dan Hauser, no longer have Leslie Benzies. Um, we still have Aaron Garbett over at the studio, who else? And Laszlo's gone too. There's been a number of, of big, you know, people who have left in the last few years. But this game is going to determine a whole lot for video games, for the Grand Theft Auto franchise... For a, for a whole lot of people and a whole lot of industries, honestly. This is 
I'm really hoping that this game is going to focus almost exclusively on... I heard rumors, I think I covered this in the rumor history video, about possibly the game kind of going episodic. Like, I want, if it's everything's going to be online, give me, like, episodic... You know, give me a full single-player game, like a long, full single-player game, and then give me more story with, like, episodic content that maybe also has online shit. Because, not because I necessarily want that, but because I know they're going to do an online thing. And I, there's a million things I have, a million problems I have with GTA Online. So, anyway, there's lots more to say, and oh, the next 24 hours are going to be crazy on the internet. But I just wanted to record my uh, initial reaction. So, yeah. Let's see what happens next, guys.